and welcome back so at this point we want to create some categories here so that when we click on category we can add a new uh, edit a category or delete a category okay so there are several ways to do this we uh, may use php only or we may use javascript ajax so uh, I was thinking we use uh, some JavaScript in here for Ajax so that you can learn how to create using that kind of format using JavaScript uh, because JavaScript at least you avoid all those page refreshing and uh, the reason is uh, because this is the admin section so even if your users do not have JavaScript installed or the latest uh, browser installed uh, this is your admin area. So you as the admin can make sure that you are browsing using the latest browser with the latest JavaScript capabilities. So we can take advantage of that and use that in the admin section only. And we can leave the PHP for the front end where we are not sure what kind of devices people will have. So at this point here, when I, if you notice when I click on category here, it doesn't change my URL or do anything there unless I click one of these that are inside here. Uh, where is this? Yes, so that's when you see uh, the page refresh there. So let's um, put one more here for us to view the categories here. So what I will do is go to the sidebar. So I have loaded my folders here with the index page there in the, but let's go to views eShop admin. And then in there, let's look at our sidebar. So where we go to where categories are here and that's categories there. Okay, so it seems when we, once we click here, uh, we don't get a reaction because JavaScript takes over here. But when we click on these, we do get one uh, reaction here. So. We could try and listen for this, but I think it's just in the interest of keeping things simple. Let me just uh, put one item here that says view. View categories or something of that sort, right? Then let's remove all this. It's just uh, admin categories. That's it. So let's come back here and refresh. So categories, view categories, and we are there. So if you remember very well, uh, what we said in the beginning with our router is that the first name is the controller and the second one is the method. So let's see how this is going to interpret to these categories here. So in order to create a new page, always we go to our controllers. So inside here, we create a controller for it. So let me just copy the admin controller because it's the closest to what we need. And then I will right click on controllers, create new file and paste this admin one here. Oh, actually, sorry, my bad. We don't actually need a new file. Uh, we already have the admin controller here because the only thing that is changing, uh, whatever we click here, we're still in the admin area. So it's still in the admin controller. So the only thing that's changing is the method itself. So in the interest of keeping to that system let's add a new method here to cutter for that so our main method is index for when somebody doesn't provide the second parameter but this second one is categories like so okay so once we hit categories there we'll pass through this controller right there and at this point, I will leave everything as it is, except instead of loading the admin uh, index page, I will load the categories. Where is that? Categories page. Now that page does not exist. So what we shall do is create it. So if I go here, I will probably get an error at this point or empty there because the file does not exist. We should put a 404 there to tell us when something does not exist. Uh, we will do that eventually. But at this point, what we want to do is go to um, 
actually I can do that rather quickly here just to keep things consistent so let's go to core and let's go to the because the controller is the one that has the load view right there so if the file isn't found we can do an else a statement and we can load the 404 instead so let me copy this include and app views that theme is fine and let's just remove this part and just code it directly as the 404.php now we have to make sure that the 404 page actually exists not inside admin but in our normal blog uh, where is that we do have a 404 and there it is so this is our 404 but instead uh, we don't want to we just need this content on the body here container uh, this because we have everything else here as part of our header and footer so what I will do is go to the index.php page like this okay so that's the content there and then I will simply copy our header and let's create a 404 right here let me right click on eShop and new file let's save it as 404.php so in here I will paste that header and I will paste the footer as well so that we maintain what we need so here I'll just say 404 so we can see that it's the 404 page and let me just refresh so as you can see here we have 404 which means page not found so we are successfully loading the 404 page but uh, this is the thing here we go to the 404 HTML and then let's copy what's inside the body copy there and paste it here okay so we have our content and we have our header and footer so let's see how that uh, okay so there we go um, oops we couldn't find this page so let me see if this actually resembles the original eShopper 404 page so let me open that with Firefox and let's see. Okay, so as you can see, there's uh, this huge 404 that's missing. So if you want that, you'd have to put root here uh, as usual. Let me say root so that we get all the imagery that is required. And then the index page here is .html, which no longer exists. So instead, we're just going to echo root because that is the home page. The home page is root there, and uh, that should do it. Now this image is quite large, so we could add. Uh, wait a minute, HTML. Even that requires root. So everything here with the link requires root at the beginning actually not a root in this case we need assets and then we need a theme like so that's actually what we need for our images let me copy that and let's put it there but for the link uh, root is good enough so let's see if we have this under control so let me refresh and there we go so we have the logo and we have so of course we're going to change this logo and we'll, it will change there as well and so on but this is quite big like I said so what we can do is simply just add a style directly here instead of having to look for styles everywhere so I'm just gonna say uh, max width I will give it a maximum width of um, let's try 200 pixels uh, if that will suffice okay there we go so 404 oops we couldn't find this page 
so it looks like something uh, so you can customize this message of course and then if i click on here i will go back to my home page okay so that actually works uh, well admin categories okay good but we don't want a 404 there let me close this we want to actually find the page so let me come back here to the admin folder inside views eShop and then I will go to to create a new page right in the admin or this let me close what I don't need uh-huh so admin right click new file and let's save this file and this file will be categories dot php save now the same way we have uh, if i go to the index.php we have the header and the sidebar we have to maintain this so let's put that as well in our categories and then let's do the same for the footer like so okay bam so let me come back here and let's refresh now we should have a page okay uh, very good everything is in here so the content is right here but there's some css that's uh, already there for our content if i go to index.php oh not that one but the control not the controller but the view we have this area that says main content now the alternative one option is to copy this content to every new page that we create like so and then we put our content there right so I'll put a two here so you can see that this is different from the first one. So there's a two there and it's very different from the original admin section, which has no two there. If I go to categories and click there, you will see the two there now, meaning we've loaded a new page, right? But our problem is that let's imagine for a second, we decide to change the ID of this main uh, content here. Then we have a problem because we have to go back through every single page and change that. So instead, what we are going to do is just get this, place your content here. That is all we need. So at this point, I'm just going to delete or undo what I've put in here in the categories. And I will go to the index store, PHP, and I will carefully cut this out up to the point where it says, place your content here. I will cut that and put it in the slider. Okay. In the sidebar, sorry at the very end paste right one half of it and then let's go down to the footer and do the other half so this other half main content end will go into the footer Let me see that where is the footer there we go so this will be at the top of the footer like so so let's tab that in just to uh, maintain our tabbing system there okay good so at this point place your content here should still work as in uh, let me put something more meaningful here I say main admin page and then I will copy this and let's go to categories and just put it here and say categories page like so oh it's completely uh, wrong spelling there but it will suffice so there we go so we have that there and if i remove uh, actually this eShop admin should take us to the home page of the admin so just a second here let me uh, fix that let's go to admin Let's go to the header actually, because that is in the header. So where does it show admin? eShop admin right there. So there is root, but we don't want root. We want root admin. So let me save that and refresh. That way when we click here, we go to the main admin page and then categories, view categories. We are going to the categories page. Okay, so this is how the routing system is going to work here. And then the rest of it, for example, when we are in categories and we say add new, we are still in the categories page, you see? 
because this is the same uh, con uh, method that we are using. But the ad at the end, we are going to capture that and use it to know what version or what to load on the page itself. Okay, so uh, we could do it that way or if we're going to use JavaScript, then we're just going to click here or something of that sort. Okay, so now that we're done with the routing system here, everything is working, we need now to create a table that will show our categories and we have exactly the candidate. So I'm going to open the, uh, go to my, what's this, my templates. And I'll go to the original template folder dash gum because I want to see how this looks like. And I will just open any of these pages because they are linked anyway. And right here, there's uh, data tables and then there's the basic table, which we are on. But I like this table with uh, the delete, edit and all that. So we're going to have to copy this table, but we will do that in the next video.